Under the Identification of Criminals Act, when you're charged with a criminal offense in Ontario or actually throughout Canada, the police will typically take a mugshot, that's a police photo of you, and keep it on record. And they'll also take your fingerprints and palm prints and keep that on file because they want this information, obviously, solve crimes, et cetera. You know, so what happens then with your charge? So let's say you're charged with domestic assault, a sexual assault, a break and enter, and you win your trial or you get the charge withdrawn because the Crown thinks they've got no, no case. So can you get these mugshots and police uh, identification, you know, photograph, uh, I should say fingerprints destroyed? Well, you can in certain cases. For, for most minor offenses, they're going to do that uh, within a timely period. By the way, each police, local police force has different timelines for it. In, in Ontario, you'll, you're going to have to look up their lo your, your lawyer will know. Uh, we, we operate in many jurisdictions, so we know each rules for each one. And there's usually a cost involved. Actually, some of them, a few of them don't charge at all. But some, some have a waiting period where you can't apply for a year. Others, you can do it within a much shorter time period, within 30 days. But the local for force, in conjunction with the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, will make a decision about whether your mugshot and prints will be destroyed. As I said, for most offenses, they seem to do it. For many years now, for more serious offenses such as sexual assaults, we've been getting letters back from the local police and the RCMP stating, look, we'll consider your application another seven years. We won't do it now. I think that's very unfair. You're, you're, the charges have been withdrawn against your client or they won at trial. They're presumed to be innocent and the police should not be retaining these records. So it's very important to get them destroyed when this happens because you don't want these records on a police computer, you know, that big brother, big state. You don't want them at the border to cause problems for you when, when you have had a charge withdrawn. So make sure your lawyer does that for you, uh, you know, writes that letter and, and makes the application to uh, get everything destroyed when you win your case. Thank you for watching our video. We are absolutely committed to bringing you the best possible criminal and DUI educational videos. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you've been charged with a criminal offense in Ontario and require our services, please click on the link in the description below.